My name's Laura Turnham. Um, I'm from Liverpool originally, but I live in Altrincham now. Um, I was born with a hereditary eye condition, which is, um, affects my whole family. So my my mom and my two brothers also have the same condition. Um, I had slightly more sight when I was a child, but nothing much. And now I'm um, left with sort of light and dark perception, but nothing nothing useful. I've always been sporty. Um, our whole family is, and um, I used to do athletics. Uh, took a couple of years out of it. Went to uni. Um, but really missed it and was chatting to a friend and she was saying telling me about someone who'd taken up cycling who'd, who used to do athletics and it sort of sparked my interest. London's going to be my first Paralympics so really looking forward to it. You know you've got to avoid the sort of feeling of nerves and just kind of concentrate on focus on your event and doing your own performance. We train six days a week um, five of them being double days so we'll do something in the morning and then again in the afternoon and we have um, Thursday is our half day and Sunday is our rest day. Um, but we, we, do, we don't just do um, on the bike, we do sort of four track sessions a week on the velodrome here um, and then we'll be in the gym and be in the lab and then be out in the tandem on the road and, and that, so there's quite a lot of variety so it doesn't get boring. My biggest achievement on the bike is probably winning silver medal last year at the World Championships for the Pursuit. Uh, that was in 2011. Um, with me and Fiona, my pilot, had only been riding together for five, six weeks, so it was quite a quite a surprise to do so well. But you know, felt it was really good. I want London, London not to just be my only game, so I'm hoping to also get to Rio. Um, you know, I'd like to I'd like to be a gold medalist, a world champion. Um, Paralympic champion, you know, all those kind of things. <laughs> and sport is, is amazing, you know, it, it, it's in everyone's life. You see it on the TV, you see it and, you know, it it's, surrounds us all the time and to be able to take part in it is great because it, it makes you feel, um, feel good about yourself. It, it gives you, um, you know, you, it's a good hobby to have and it's also a way of, you know, socialising and and I've just taken it to that next <laughs> level. But, you know, I I love competing. I love the thrill of it when you're you know you're out racing, um, and you know that feeling of um, it's hard to explain. But it's it it just it's all, the adrenaline kick that just makes you makes you feel really good. Um, and you know the sense of achievement of doing something and proving that you know for me it's it's almost like proving that being visually impaired doesn't mean I you know I can't do other things and tr trying to prove to people that you know just because you're visually impaired it doesn't mean that you can't you can't achieve a lot in your life and it, I want to be able to encourage other people to do the same. The advice I can give to, uh, to other people who can't say is mainly just don't don't give up don't say no just you know, keep keep trying to raise the bar and push it on because you can do it. Um, my name is Fiona Duncan. I'm from Aberdeen in Scotland. I don't have an eye condition. I'm a sighted pilot that rides on the tandem with a blind athlete in order that they can participate in, in competitive cycling. Um, my husband got me into cycling back in 2003, just initially from a um, leisure um, sort of participation element and I discovered I was quite good at it so I just um, kept cycling, got involved with a local cycling club and um, I eventually got to the standard where I was selected by British Cycling to pilot a tandem and help them out with, um, with the team. Riding the tandem um, in the winter of 2010, um, I went to selection through a selection process with a few other girls um, to see if they could find a new pilot to work with Laura. And um, I was um, picked along with Laura to go to the World Championships, which was um, on the track that was in February of 2011. So having only ridden together for five or six weeks, we found ourselves off to the World Championships, and we did really well. We got a silver medal in that competition, which just um, which led to us working together for longer and then we find ourselves here getting ready for the Paralympics. 
I've always had a burning desire to do the best that I can. So to, to be able to push my limits every day in a training and a racing environment is fantastic. It really lets me feel like I, I'm doing the best I can and that's one of the things that I've always sort of aspire to do but once I've come to work with the paracycling team it's given me a whole new level of motivation and um, for me to have the big goal of, of getting to the Paralympics in London you know that was a really big motivator but I find that working with all the people in the team they, they inspire and motivate me every day and um, you know as athletes we, we inspire one another but I, I find the people that I'm working with you know, each individual person's got a story about their disability and how they came to sport. And, um, you know, if I ever think that I, I need a little bit of motivation, I just think of some of the experiences that they've gone through and the things that they've overcome to participate in their sport. And it just it just pushes me on to. Proud, I think, is the overwhelming feeling I have about my involvement with this. It, you know, what I do on the tandem, I, I ride on the front and um, I facilitate the athletic performance of the blind athlete who rides on the back. And without somebody on the front to do that, they wouldn't be able to participate in the sport. So I feel really privileged to be able to do that and to help in this way. I'm really proud that, you know, I'm able to represent Great Britain and go to the Paralympics. To have gone from being a club cyclist, um, you know, just an amateur person, doing it for fun. Um, and as I realised that I had some talent there, I did start to take it a bit more seriously. Um, and it started to become less fun and a bit more hard work and I can remember thinking to myself you know you I, I don't have to keep doing this you know at what point does it stop becoming a hobby and start to becoming hard work and a chore but I still love doing it I love competing it's one of the reasons why I keep doing it and I don't think ever in my wildest dreams I thought that I would get an opportunity like this but that has happened for me I did get this opportunity and um, I volunteered to, to be the person that would ride on the tandem and I was the one that got picked at the end of the day so to to feel that going from you know, a club cyclist and just doing it for fun, to finding myself now riding with Laura on a tandem at the Paralympic Games is just, you know, it's the kind of thing that dreams are made of, really. Uh, and to be part of, um, you know, the Paralympics GB team is just, you know, overwhelmingly feeling of proudness for me, I think. Um, just, you know, I'm so proud of myself for achieving my goal. That's what we've been working towards for two years to try and get here and, and now, in a matter of weeks we're going to be competing there and I'm just so looking forward to you know having um, everyone in Great Britain you know and all over the world watching and especially looking forward to feeling what it's going to be like to have that home support and all the people who are going to be cheering for us we're going to be able to hear it and see them and, and feel the atmosphere and you know to think that they're all cheering for us is fantastic and to think that maybe I can inspire someone um, by what I'm doing that makes me feel really special.